Hey, you see that? That's our first international arrest in Canada. Oh, you see that? That's our arrest in our 42nd state in Delaware. YouTube censoring channels like this left and right. If you want to keep this movement alive, consider joining locals in the pinned comment. You can see all of these uncensored, no filter, for only $5 a month. And you can keep this movement alive in spite big tech. Choice is yours. You can support the group that has an arrest in 42 different states and two countries. You can see catches like the fire lieutenant, which I can't post publicly until after his trial. You can see all of Stinghouse content that I think is too spicy for here, plus much, much more. The price is going to go up in a few days, but if you get it, now while it's $5, the price stays the same for you. Contribute directly to getting these people off the streets. Keep yourself entertained. Keep us going. Join locals. Pin comment. What's up, guys? Before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms, including on Rumble, which you can find in the pinned comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So, be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment. Like the video. What's up? Before we get into the messages with Emily, I need to go over this real quick. In all seriousness, I know that everybody's sick of the old commercial, so here's a new one. If you're interested in buying merch, which is very comfortable, in all seriousness, get the merch here. We have all new stuff, including sweatshirts, shorts, t-shirts, maybe even hats. Check it out. Pin comment. GordonFlowers.com. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers, to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information, in other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person in interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. Hey, William, got to talk to you, man, about what's going on tonight, okay? Got to talk to you about what's going on tonight with Emily, okay? We got all your messages here. You got any weapons on you? No. Okay, mind if we have a talk down there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just don't run off, okay? I recommend you don't run off. Huh? Just don't run off, all right? Okay, cool. My name is Gordon. William. Sorry to meet you like this. Cameras are for safety reasons. We can be sure we're not here to hurt you or take anything from you, okay? Yeah. Okay. It's all voluntary, okay? But you any weapons on you? No, I'm just a phone. Okay. All right. Let's uh, go in the light here. 
I think it's best we just talk about what's kind of going on. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm tired. Well, honestly, yeah, I, I get you're tired, but look, being that I have your messages here, yeah. and uh, I think it's kind of best we go over it like this, man. I think that's probably the best route for you. Basically, I'm just point blank. Am I in trouble? Yes or no? Well, I mean, honestly, I, do you, can you be? I mean, I think yeah. the messages, okay. Yeah. So I think uh, we should probably just go over the messages, huh? Uh, can you uh, run in the car and get the other bag? Just go as fast as you can. Okay, so before, before we get into the messages, really, should be on my feet, okay? Before we get into the messages, really, I mean, like, you work for the city of Nashville? Yeah. Okay, so I think it's probably best we just have a talk then, okay? Yeah. All right, because, yeah, I mean, so you so the taxpayer funded? Mm, uh, I mean, you work for like the department of whatever? Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's talk about this. So before we really get into anything, I mean, how old is Emily? 14, 15. Okay, well, what did she tell you? 11, I guess. Mm hmm okay. Yeah, so, I mean, that's who you're here to meet tonight? I'm just gonna come up here just to see her, because mm -hmm. she said her dad passed away from the and I'm, I'm a nice guy, I trust her head. I'm okay. Like you're nice to people as much as yeah. you can. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, because I know you work for the city and stuff, so I know you do, like, public service and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of your angle, just making sure she has that void filled? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, that's kind of what I want to talk to you about. Because, you know, I don't think, you know, you don't come across as like an evil no, no. guy or anything no. like that. And, you know, I'm just kind of here to make sure everything's kept kosher, if you know what I'm getting yeah. at here. So, yeah. So, obviously, the messages are pretty thick, though. I know. Yep. So, I mean, yeah, I it think... It is what it is. Yeah, that, and look, there, there's good people that, like, you know, have slip-ups or whatever. Yeah. And I think it doesn't, it doesn't need to be addressed, I think. Okay. It doesn't need to be addressed? No, because basically I'll make you a deal right now. Yeah. You let me leave out of here, you'll never see my face again. I'll be gone. Oh, well, I'm not holding you here, but I think it's best that we talk about this because we have everything saved, including every single phone call, every single picture sent. And, you know, obviously I know where you work. I know where you live. And look, I understand it's embarrassing to talk about, especially with cameras, but dude, like... Honestly, just a little tough conversation is better than the best way to go here, okay? I'm the tough person. If you could just do one thing. Yeah. Cut to the chase. Huh? No more of this. this, 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 this. Okay. So. Just, just okay. okay, so we can cut through the bullshit and we'll just be honest with each other? Cut through the bullshit and we'll be done. That's all. Okay, we're going to be honest with each other then? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we all started talking in December, right? Uh, couple yes. Couple months? Yeah. Okay. I guess. I don't know. I don't keep up with half the stuff. Yeah. Were there kind of pictures sent between the two of you? She sent me a few pictures. Okay. Did you send some? Yeah. Okay. Did you send your pictures? Yeah. Okay. How many um, times? A, couple, a few times. Like three maybe? Yeah. Okay. And on the phone? Yeah. I'm stupid. I'm okay. Stupid. I appreciate your honesty, man. Hey, honest, honestly, honesty is the best thing you can do right now. Yeah. Did you show it to her on the phone? Huh? Mm, I, think I probably did. I can't remember. Okay. So we have the recording of you saying you want to see my big old dick. Yeah. Okay. So, basically, um, you know, if you, if you want to cut through the chase, like I know you cared about her and I know you yeah. care about filling the void and her yeah. life and stuff. I mean, you're single, right? Yeah. And you live with your mom? Yeah. Okay. So, were you ever married? No. No kids, no nothing? No kids, okay. No kids. So, are you kind of, do you think loneliness maybe pushed you into this or? Yeah, give or take. Okay. Like I said. She, her dad passed away. I know how it feels to have a loved one pass away. Uh -huh. I had a brother that was. Uh, yeah, right. I'm sorry to hear that. And so, hey, if somebody passes away, hey, okay, I'd be nice to you. Just, hey, just be nice. Yeah. No, I mean you were very nice to her. You weren't forceful or anything no. like that. Because there are people that kidnap people, and you know there are forceful people, and you can come across as that. But. Um, you know, obviously here, if you, if you just want to cut to the chase, I mean, okay, so you guys talked about yeah. sneaking into her room. I guess so, yeah. Okay, all right. She said that, I did I know, but you asked, where are we going to be tonight in yeah. your room? She said, yeah. So yeah. It, it seemed like kind of a mutual thing. Yeah. Okay. So basically, if you, if you want to cut to the chase, I mean, we can. Just cut to the chase. Okay. So only thing I would probably do is let you see my big in person and yeah. let you touch it with your hands. And if you yeah. wanted to, you could kiss it. Okay. Yeah. Were you going to force that on her? No. Okay, was that going to be her choice? Yeah. Okay, so you would have only let, let her touch your, you know, big 
Okay, if, yeah. if she was okay with it? Yeah. Okay, so it's here for consensual touching? Yeah, I'll say if she said no. Okay, so she only would have touched it if she was okay with it? If she wanted to. If she said no, Okay. Hey, cool. Okay, o only if she said yes. Yeah. Okay, well, I appreciate your honesty, man. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. But I'm kind of here to talk to you about more things than Emily, <laughs> okay? I'm glad you were honest about Emily. Yeah. But, you know, some stuff was said about, you know, taking her into the woods. You know, obviously, you can't do that when it's raining, but... No. Okay, do you remember saying you know, we'll go yeah, into the you woods? Know, yeah. Especially to do one thing. Look for something like, uh, I can't pronounce it. Mm -hmm. Don't take my tongue. Honey, something. Honey? Yeah. Look for honey. Yeah, it's a little flower you can grab. And... Oh, a honeysuckle? Yeah. Okay, I think she was going to do some other suckling in the woods. No. But... No. <laughs> no, just looking for a honeysuckle? Yeah. Okay. So all the quote unquote inappropriate stuff would have just been in her room then? Okay. All right. Got it. So look, I mean, obviously, uh, did y'all talk on telegram at all? No. Do you have telegram? I do. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of, that's for a, what you call it? It's for that app there is on my phone is for coding. It's for coding. Cody. Cody. Wait, what, like Cody on telegram? Yeah, Cody store. Cody store. What's that? Where you buy your fire sticks and buy all stuff. Okay, the Cody Store Telegram. Yeah, it's a, it's a tech support. Tech support? Yes, for your fire stick. Okay, tech support for a firework. Fire stick. Fire stick, like basically the, kind of like a, like it kind of shoots stuff. I, I, I'm sorry, I just don't know what a fire, oh, oh, a fire stick, like the TV thing. Yeah. Okay. Hey man, look, I know I sound more city than you, but you know more about technology than I do. Typically the voices would be mixed, but. No, I don't, I don't know anything about technology. I'm a, when it comes to technology. Okay, got it. I barely can't. This one I got in my pocket. Somebody, I look like another kid could be right here. He could do more things on this one than I really will be able to do. Because I'm just like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, god damn. Let's get, can you order the pickles? Sure. Appreciate it. Fucking starving. Um, okay, so obviously, look, man. I'm, I'm going to keep my voice down. Yeah. Obviously on, on, on Telegram, I, I get the fire stick stuff, but yeah. if you want to cut to the chase, let's cut to the chase. To the chase. Okay, come on. I, I don't doubt you have tech support on Telegram, but we all know what Telegram is for. Okay, can we cut to the chase on that too? Yeah. You seem like a pretty honest guy, yeah. so. I can grab my phone right now. I got my phone on my pocket now, and I can show you the Telegram. Okay, you want to? Sure. Okay, do you want to go? Oh. All right, well, okay, I don't know. thank you. Um, okay, so obviously, you know, Emily was 11 years old, yeah. and, you know, obviously on your Facebook, yeah. I don't know how you guys came across each other, but, you know, we yeah. see, seen kind of lurking around teen groups and stuff yeah. like that, mm -hmm. okay. But, I, look. I don't know how to get to, I don't know what a teen group is. Okay. But Emily popped up in your friend's list somehow, yeah. or she, you popped up in hers, Yeah. whatever. So when did this type of stuff kind of start for you, man? Because not only, not only do I want to get this address, I kind of want to get you help so we can just kind of reverse I'm course good. on this. I don't need no help. Like I said, I'm good, I'm fine, I'm perfect. She just popped up on my friends, or I sent out a federal request, I can't remember which one. And we started chatting here and there, like every now and then I said, hey, how are you doing? How's your day going? I know, but you know, obviously it doesn't get to an 11 year old girl coming over to do stuff with her this quick, man. I mean, when did this kind of online stuff start for you? What, chatting with people? Yeah, chatting with just various people. It's been a long time, I just chat with whoever. I just okay. say, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? And they ask me back, cool. Is there like adults that talk to you too? Yeah. Okay, okay, so yeah. it's, is there, you know, cause obviously people like Emily, like, yeah, Sure, you're here, but she also is the one that invited you here and all of this type of stuff. I mean, do they ever, are there any other people like Emily's age that try to message you nope. and stuff? Okay. Is there anybody like a little bit older than Emily that tries to message you? Nope. Like 13, 14? No. Nope. Okay. So I know Emily wasn't the first person that was, you know, a little younger lady under 18 that's messaged you before. I'm not saying when to go meet others. I'm just saying there's been talk online because it's not hard to track your Facebook account or any of that stuff. And obviously you have Twitter, right? No. Nope. Just Instagram and Facebook? Instagram and Facebook. Okay. So on your Instagram, we see your following list. There's a lot of people that yeah. are probably young, 
Like younger I, than 18? I don't know. Okay. They just send me a, a thing, a request to follow, and I accept it. Okay. And they'll send me a, a friend or something to follow. Cool. Okay. Because I noticed like, there's a lot of like younger than 18 that either tries to follow you or you follow them or whatever. I just, I might scroll through, hit follow, scroll okay. through, hit follow. If they accept it, that's cool. If they don't, I don't care. It's just, I just get bored at night. I just uh, scroll here, do this right here, and just, okay. you know. Do you kind of say hi to like everybody that you follow? Yeah. Okay. So, like I said, I noticed that you follow. Emily isn't the only person that's younger than 18 that you follow. Okay, do you just say hi to everybody then, or? Yeah. Okay. So you said hi to other people that are just yeah. younger than 18? Yeah, I just okay. Say hi. okay, 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 got it, got it. Do any of them that are younger than 18 just say hi back, besides Emily? Mm, have I said hi back to you? Yeah, no, no, have they said hi back to you? Not that I recall. No, I don't. Because sometimes I'll keep the app, then I'll say, you know what, I'm, I'll just delete the app. Just, okay. Just, just keep just keep the space on my phone down as much as I can. Okay. But basically what I'm getting at here, William, is like, <laughs> there's a lot of, I know, I, yeah, I, these I messages, up, right, yeah, right. But, you know, it doesn't, this isn't just a, yeah, this is your first time doing this, I'm sure. But yeah. this isn't, this isn't, this doesn't come from like, this doesn't come from just, you know, there's been no, you know, younger ladies on your profile. Then no. all of a sudden this happens, it, yeah. it, you know, what's been on your Instagram feed? Has it been like bikini pics and stuff like that? Like Tim? I don't know. I don't keep up. Okay. Is the place still early, like cooking? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, you know, you say hi to pretty much everybody you follow. Yeah. Okay. And we've noticed that you follow like teen pages, people younger than 18, I all of that know stuff. Any teen pages, I don't know. I just follow random people. You follow random people? Yeah. Okay. So Emily just happened to respond to you? Yeah. If okay. she didn't, that was cool. Like I said, just, hey, how you doing? Okay. You reply back to me? That's cool. If you don't reply back to me, I get two shits less. Okay. Okay. But, you know, I mean, you referred to Emily as having natural beauty. Yeah. And all of this type of stuff. Are they like, is the restaurant calling you? Yeah, my mom's calling yeah. me. Oh, Jesus, okay. Yeah, uh, to me, she's got, she was born, to me, it's, I, I compliment people, hey, if you look nice or something, I'm gonna tell you how you look, you are born with natural beauty. Okay, okay. But my point is, Emily obviously looks like a little kid. Yeah. And, and to me, the little kids, hey, if you're 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, hey. Okay. As you're a girl on the set, you look beautiful. You look, mm -hmm. you look like, a, you look beautiful. Yeah, complimenting her. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, I guess, what about Emily turned you on? She didn't, I just okay. talked to her. I know, but you sent pictures of your erect to her. I know. I was stupid. Okay. Is it, I mean, is it just Emily? Did you just get turned on by the thought of somebody else talking to you? No, I just do it. Well, you were just in general, or? Yeah, I guess so. Just, okay. Just whatever. I did, I did it. Okay. Okay. But like, I mean, so my point is a guy wouldn't just turn you on. Okay. I mean, there has to be something about Emily that turned you on. No, I just done it. You were just turned on? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean, like, but my point is, dude, I mean, there's, there obviously has to be something. There ain't nothing. There's, no, there's nothing. There's nothing. Nothing. Okay, so I, I, I'm just not be really believing that like em that Emily is just you me, you right, but you, I, don't, you don't. I know, but it's just Emily. Emily obviously got I you know. to come out here and yeah. all this stuff. Yeah, she did. You know. okay. Yeah, I'll come out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll come out here. I'm on free will. I know. I know. Let's see. honest with them okay so why does it matter if you're 11 or 40 in my mind to me it's your choice if you decide to download the app and make it instagram or not yeah. okay yeah that's fair it's fair of course it's only fair you said if i was 12 years old i would date you so i mean what was the what was the plan with emily was the plan to just be her friend like yeah. for a long time yeah. or okay okay that's it just be her friend okay say so if i'm she needs me to say hey i need someone to talk to Okay. Call me. Okay. 
So you, so you weren't just going to come here, do the deed, then block no. her? Okay. No. This is, okay. Hey, you want to be my friend? If right. you need someone to talk to, right. I'll talk okay, to you. Okay, just filling that void for her and stuff yeah. like that. Okay. So, I'm the top person. I'm not going to judge nobody because a lot of people here are judging. Right, judgmental. Exactly. Yeah. So basically, you weren't just going to hang out only once and be done. You were going to just try to see her if she wanted to see you and stuff like that? Yeah. Okay. So, so an actual real friend? Yeah. Okay. And I also messaged her and told her, you can probably look in there, I told her about a bicycle. We're going to buy her one? No. Oh. I don't, where I work at, there's a guy who's got a bunch of bicycles. Okay. And there, he was, if he was going to let me have it, I was going to say, hey, I'll get it fixed up. If don't need a whole lot, I'll fix it up. Let you have it so you can have something to ride during the Oh, season. okay. Like, on a, nice, on a Saturday. Okay. She can do one thing. She can get on a bicycle and ride around in our apartment complex. Awesome. Okay. So you wanted to really be somebody in her life for her? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. And I'm, like I said, do what you want with it. If you want to keep it, cool. If you want to junk it, if you want to cut it up, mm -hmm. I don't care. Because once I give it to you, mm -hmm. it's yours. Not okay. Not mine Okay. Awesome. So, what do you think about that picture? Okay. I would I'm afraid someone... I mean, were you eventually going to tell her mom about kind of meeting each other? Or were you were just going to try to keep that a secret? I obviously would have told her mom, hey, I'll talk to your daughter a little bit. Okay. But I'm just, I'm a nice person. Mm -hmm. I don't mean no harm to her or anything. Okay. Were you going to tell her about this relationship? or? No, what we don't mean no relationship. I was just saying, hey, you want to see it? Cool. If you don't want to see it. Right, right, right. But I mean, like, were, I mean, were you going to tell her that, like, you sent your pictures to yeah, her daughter? Yeah, I would have told her that. You would have told her that? Yeah, yeah, I would have made up to it. Okay. What do you think she would, I mean, do you think she would have been okay with that? No. Or? no. Okay. I ain't saw very catch up. I'm so best that I'm on the rest, right? Um, well, I'm not a cop. But I do, like, like I said, I can vouch for you, man. Just be honest with them like you were with me. That's, yeah. that's what I could say. Because, you know, I know you're a good dude. Yeah. What do you do for the city of Nashville? Sanitation. Okay. Four uh, trailers. Yeah, you're pretty dirty for someone in sanitation. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And, well, yeah. I'll, I'll pull trailers. I'll go back and forth to landfills. Okay. Got it. Dump that trailer. Take it back, grab another trailer, so on, so on. Okay. And this is your here, right? Yes. Okay. I kind of thought about possibly sending you a picture of my big Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my mother daughter, I just come down here. I, I got my mother's car. Uh-huh. And I was going to go to Food Line, get me some food, mm -hmm. and do my thing. Go, go back to the house because I'm tired. I've been helping a secretary move all day long. Mm -hmm. And I gotta go back and help her finish up tomorrow if I'm not in jail. All right. Well, I don't think you're, we're gonna go to Food Line. I think you're just lying. I'm gonna go to Food Line. Okay. Well, anyway, there they are. What's going on, man? How's it going, sir? This individual's here to meet um, who he thinks is an 11 year old girl uh, for. Yeah, I did. Okay. What did he say? Yes, I did. Just yeah, he was good. Got gonna... your ID with you, man? Yeah. All right. But before I give you my ID, just cut to the book. If I'm on arrest, yes or no? I need to get your ID first. Let's go with that. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he said he was here to, I mean, he sent pictures to her, and he said he was here I'm to. Stupid. Okay. You were here to have her touch her if she was okay with it? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, I was stupid. All right, there you go. Well, you're so damn honest. I don't need to go to jail because. That license he's got, so uh -huh. it's hard to come by. Okay, is that always a hard license to come by? Yes. Okay, okay. And it takes to lose. Okay. That's a, that's a different license from you. That license there is a class A. Do you use it like for floss or something? It's pretty class thick. Class A. Oh, okay. Class A, all right. It's a class A CDL. Made like a driver with big rigs. Okay. What car did you use getting here? He used his mom's car to get here. I need my mother's car. I told him car. You got your ID with you, brother? Uh, it's in the car. I can just go get it real quick. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, can you give him his phone? And I can do it. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it. I'm going to get his, too. Yeah, cool. And I can make your deal right now. Make your deal? Make your own deal. If y'all let me. Can you unlock the car? I would just stop talking about it.
Hey, you see that? That's our first international arrest in Canada. Oh, you see that? That's our arrest in our 42nd state in Delaware. YouTube censoring channels like this left and right. If you want to keep this movement alive, consider joining locals in the pinned comment. You can see all of these uncensored, no filter, for only $5 a month. And you can keep this movement alive in spite big tech. The choice is yours. You can support the group that has an arrest in 42 different states and two countries. You can see catches like the fire lieutenant, which I can't post publicly until after his trial. You can see all Stinghouse content that I think is too spicy for here, plus much, much more. The price is going to go up in a few days, but if you get it now while it's $5, the price stays the same for you. Contribute directly to getting these people off the streets. Keep yourself entertained. Keep us going. Join locals. Pin comment.